Hi everybody, this is the Tech Reborn world that I mentioned in my Dialocraft Greg Tech 5 server world video. Um, basically I haven't done a whole lot here other than uh, make me a little field so I got some stuff to eat. And uh, make me a wood pick. Unfortunately, in this world, we don't really have a whole lot of choice of uh, not making a wood pick. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys what we're working with here. Um, for anybody that likes Greg Tech, but they don't like a lot of the nerfs that he puts in this might be a halfway decent pack for them to or mod for them to try um, because Reiki is mods are in here I'm not gonna be able to um, share this world without getting a hold of him and getting permission and I want to get the pack pretty good and stable before I even try something like that. Um, I don't personally consider it that stable yet because all I basically have done is thrown the mods in here, messed around with the origin a little bit to make sure that... Um, we don't have 60 million different mods trying to generate um, copper or tin or whatever. So, not a whole lot I've done to it. Um, also, with Reiki's mods, you can't mind tweak them. So if there's anything that we don't like about the recipes, we're pretty well screwed. But I've played with Rotary Craft and Reactor Craft before. Um, and I don't really see a reason we would need to. Um, now, there is some things with... Uh, this that are going to be a little different. I do have thermal expansion and thermal dynamics in here, and they will stay in here. I won't take them out like I did my Greg Tech 5 pack because in this one I plan on having a lot of different ore processing things um, just so I can kind of screw around with all the different ones where when I play with Greg Tech 5 it's basically Greg Tech for ore processing only but I also have magnetic craft and immersive engineering in here and I want to get into both of their ore processing as well Um, basically I just wanted to show you guys this pack a little bit. I'll bring up the mod list here. Let you all see what's in here. Got AE, Buildcraft. Those are in about every pack I play in other than the server. Server never has AE. Uh, Biblio, I put big reactors in here, but right now they are completely unable to be built because I don't have a way of getting uh, graphite. I don't like cooking coal and cooking charcoal to make graphite. I got to find something to mine tweak 
the output of to get graphite. Um, in the Greg Tech 5 pack, it was, you know, diamonds or a diamond vein that had graphite ore was how I was going to do it here. I don't think there's a way. I'll look it up in a second. But as far as I know, it's completely unbuildable right now. But that'll be quite a while before we get to that point. Anyways, uh, Beanie Corp, um, Carpenter's Box, Chisel, Cogs of the Machine. Now, that's an alpha mod that's very, very small. But I kind of like playing around with it. It's got at least one really neat block in it. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, Computer Craft, Dragon API, Electric Craft, Ender IO, Ender Zoo. If anybody knows of a different um, mob enhancing mod other than Ender Zoo, let me know. Um, I kind of like it, but gets kind of boring with the only having you know four or five different mods. I also nerfed dire woes a little bit instead of being 10 heart damage every bite i took it to five since i don't wear super op armor all the time that means you know two bites is still going to pretty much kill me until i get to metal armor which lord only knows when i'm actually going to make some i'll either be naked and scared or leather like normal probably um factorization it's goofy mod i haven't played a whole lot with but it's been in about every pack i've played that wasn't built by me since i started playing um so i decided to put it in here it's got a lot of neat new things in it i've heard about so i decided i want to try it um Enhanced inventories is something that's in here for Junior. He likes that one. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, forestry, obviously. Extra cells to forge mitra box, forge relocation, galacticraft, growth craft, immersive engineering, industrial craft two, magnetic craft mechanism which does add you know armor to mobs uh nuclear control to nuclear craft which is a new one i haven't played with yet open blocks pams pneumatic craft rotary craft tech reborn twilight forest and then uh thermal mods um if I end up restarting my Greg Tech 5, I'm going to take this one out. And I really got to find a better workbench mod. I may actually put um, Tinker's Construct in there just to have the table. I won't use the Tinker part, but I'll use the table. I just hate putting in that big of a mod just for one block but i really like having a table that'll store its freaking inventory and unless the update that i put in for forestry fixes the work table issue with greg tech tools i don't have something to use that way um i could always put thermal expansion back in because it has this machinist workbench but again that's a pretty big mod just for one thing basically um, I took railcraft out I had originally had it in here but I don't do a whole lot with the um, trains I'm fine with just mine carts. To me, the trains aren't big enough. If you're going to have trains, they ought to be big ass trains on big ass tracks, not a little bitty 
thing pulling around a, on a minecart track. Minecarts and rails and train cars are completely different sizes. And so I didn't put that in here because the main thing I was using it for was the Coke oven. And with immersive engineering, I don't really need it for that. Definitely going to need that for when we start with mechanism. Uh, the first thing we're going to start with is cog of the machine. I really hope this guy that started that mod... Um, puts an update out for it soon because I really like the mechanics of it. Um, like I said, there's one block in it that I really like. The only thing that I'm kind of leery on it about is I think it's kind of like IC2. I don't think the uh, steam that it produces is or dictionary steam. You know what? If I touch you, you're going to take off. I didn't even have to touch you. But I love this world I got here because I got a mesa. I don't ever get to find mesas or spawn in mesas. So, I really love this place. I'm probably going to end up building over here somewhere. I haven't been out wandering around at all. This is the only place I've been is that little island right there. Or peninsula, I should say. So, let's come up here and have a look. I've not built. I don't think anything out of hardened clay ever, like structures or anything. I think it'd be kind of neat to see what kind of things I can. Why? Well, um, I don't have a sword, buddy. So I'm going to beat you with this almost worn out pick. Just because you don't need to be up here. How big a mesa do we have? The other thing is, I do believe we can get lithium out of this hardened clay, too. Not that I'm going to go knock the dog shit out of every piece of this place to get it, but if we ever need it, we can. Um, which I want to show you a little bit of the blocks that are in Tech Reborn. Um, it's a mod I don't think too many people know about. Um, like I said, it's basically a redo of Greg Tech 3 and 4. Um, it does not have... Uh, tools in it right now like hammers and chisels and saws and stuff like that and like you've seen it doesn't have the uh, nerfs that Greg's always had in his for wood and stuff like that I don't know if they're going to add it um, they're still working on it so, they could add that stuff. I have no idea. But it's a pretty neat idea. I have I love Greg Tech 4. I always wanted to play with it back when I was playing Tech It, but didn't know how to add it to Tech It Lite and couldn't play the old FTB pack. 
So I played with it in 1.6 and never got to the fission reactor. I got up to the large boilers. That was about it. The thermal boilers and the big turbines and making an AESU. Now there's one thing you might have noticed when I was down in that cave. And that is that the uh, spawn for the Greg Tech ores in my opinion is messed up because you should have to go under a desert down pretty low to get rubies you should have to go underneath an ocean to get sapphires but in this one they're everywhere um, you should have to go up in mountains to get tetrahydrite. And you know what? You're coming with me. Um, try and think, was there another one? Galena should be lower, but it's at the surface. Um, oh, and Cassiterite should be up in the mountains and you can find it anywhere um, so that's stuff that hopefully they're going to fix I've mentioned it to them um, so hopefully they do something about it but who knows they might have other things that they feels more pressing right now, so who knows if they're going to get to it or not. Um, it does have the harder macerator nerf, where you got to have diamonds to make a macerator. I don't know because for some reason. They wanted to make this so it's not IC2 dependent. So I don't know if it actually changes the IC2 macerator, but I know the Greg Tech one it does. I don't even know if you can make an IC2 macerator. This is kind of my home for the moment, this little cave here. Let's come in here and Check this out. Macerator. Okay, we only have one macerator. And it takes diamonds and a basic machine casing. Flint and electrical circuit. Okay. So. There is no other macerator. Alright, Tech Reborn. Wanted to show you guys basically what it's got. You got thermal generator, quantum tanks, centrifuge, digital chest, rolling machine, industrial blast furnace. This is the industrial blast furnace that has to have the machine casings behind it. Um, alloy furnace. Industrial grinder, plosion compressor, matter fab. I wonder if this is still that ungodly hard freaking recipe, which it should be pretty hard. Industrial trunk loader, that's a new one. Charging bench, standard machine casing, reinforced, advanced, and I just lost everything. You know, I could just do it this way. It'd be a lot easier if I hit the right key. Alright. Dragon Egg. 
magic assembler machine diesel generator electrolyzer energy absorber semi-fluid generator gas turbine iron alloy furnace didn't even know there was one of them chemical reactor electric lathe what the hell steel gears those look different uh, plate cutting machine IDSU still can't craft that thing AESU can't craft it right now not sure why LESU you can super condensator a wooden shelf metal shelf LESU block distillation tower I remember that thing being a real pain in the ass electric crafting table woo frickin who I'll make one of them as soon as possible a vacuum freezer plasma generator computer Fusion computer, fusion coil, lightning rod, yeah. Heat generator, that's a new block. Sawmill, aluminum machine hall, iron machine hall, bronze machine hall, brass machine hall, steel machine hall, titanium. And then there's a farm, but it don't work. And we got different fluids. And we got all of our parts and stuff like that. And I used to love this thing. Rock cutter. Cannot wait till I get one of these. Um, but you know what? There's one mod when I was reading them off. I didn't see in here. And that's IHL. I swear I have it in here. Uh, hmm. There's nothing from IC2 able to be made. Wow. That sucks. Can't make any of the wind stuff and crap like that. That's weird. Well, what the hell is the use of having it in here if I can't make anything? Um, I know the ores show up. Can I make a reactor? Or is it just not showing that way? Yeah, I can make a reactor just fine. Huh. So, what if I put in, like, the metal former? Uh, metal former. Yeah, I can make an IC2 metal former. No idea why that's not showing up in any eye. Um, let's see, uh, sack. Well, that's not sack, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not in there. I'll have to check and see because it's definitely supposed to be in here. So I'll have to check on IHL, see why it's not here. Um, and get it in here. Because I definitely want to do a little planning around with it. 
with and without Greg Tech just to see how some of the stuff works differently. Um, there's the rubies I was talking about. Right now, if I break that, I'm going to get the regular rubies. There's the sapphire. I'm not going to get the block. I got to have a rock cutter or silk touch for that. Um, so, not really going to mess with it at the moment. Let's look up cog. And this is what cog of the machine adds. And in the next episode, I'm going to make one of these. So, I'm going to end this one here. If y'all like the idea of this pack and want me to continue to put videos out on it, fucker. I hate creepers. At least he didn't kill me. Ugh. I gotta make a sword. I really gotta make a sword. I really gotta get some food. I have nothing to eat. Other than rice that I can't eat. And... That's about it. Nothing else. Got to get some actual housekeeping done. So, I get some food and see what y'all think of this pack and let me know if we got a lot of good views on it and get some comments or some likes on it. I'll, uh, I'll do it instead of Greg Tech 5. And if y'all don't give me any comments and too many people don't watch it then I'll just go back to the Greg Tech 5 I'm still going to play in this world because I like this pack I might still put up little updates from it every now and then but I don't really want to try to run two big ass packs like this at the same time I already have some people that say I put out too many videos as it is if I try running two big ass packs like this, I'll be putting out way too many videos. So, take it easy. Let me know what you think. Later.